B9 lesions of the vulva. In this we are going to discuss hydradenoma papilliferum also called papillary hydradenoma. It mainly occurs in middle aged women in the labia majora, labia minora and perineum. It is of adnexal origin that is apocrine sweat glands. The vulva may contain tissue which closely resemble breast tissue which is ectopic breast tissue. It has an identical appearance to intraductal papillomas of the breast. It is only cutaneous adnexal tumor that is seen in the vulva with any frequency. Gross appearances, it is round, firm, doomed nodule which is 1 to 2 cm in diameter. It may be slightly tender and undergo ulceration if neglected. Microscopic features, it is composed of complex papillary structures showing fine fibrovascular cores and collagenous stroma. There is inner layer of columnar or cuboidal cells. The basal layer of flattened myoepithelial cells underlies the epithelium. Immunohistochemistry S100 protein positive in myoepithelial cells, PS focally positive in the epithelial cells. Now this is the photograph which shows two portion. The larger photograph shows microscopic features of hydradenoma papilliferum. Papillae are marked with letter P whereas fibrovascular core are marked with V and there is another photograph which is in the frame. The myoepithelial cells they are marked with M whereas the other cells which are the lining cells are marked with C because they are cuboidal or columnar in shape. Now the other tumor is angiomyofibroblastoma. It is a benign tumor but it is very rare. It may present as a Bartholin gland cyst or mass. It is treated by local excision. Gross appearances, it is well circumscribed tumor. It is highly vascular. Microscopic appearances, there is a benign spindle cell stroma. It has a numerous small sized blood vessels. The perivascular hypercellularity is marked. Mast cells are present. Now this is the photograph which shows the microscopic features of angiomyofibroblastoma. The red arrow points towards spindle shaped cells showing increased cellularity but they are benign whereas the blood vessels are seen by black circle which are surrounded by spindle shaped cells and inflammatory cells. The other tumor is aggressive angiomyxoma. This tumor usually arises in premenopausal women. It is a locally aggressive subcutaneous tumor. Wider local excision is the treatment of choice. It is locally aggressive and there is a significant rate of local recurrence. Gross appearances, it is a soft gelatinous mass with ill-defined margins. There are clusters of vessels which are present on cut surface. Microscopic appearances, the stroma is myxoid with B9 spindle fibroblast and myofibroblasts. Numerous medium sized arterioles are clustered. There are entrapped fat, neural element or glandular elements may be present. Immunohistochemistry, SMA spindle cell positive, S100 protein negative. Now this is the photograph which shows microscopic features of aggressive angiomyxoma. You can well appreciate the spindle shaped cells are marked with letter F and they are bland whereas the blood vessels are shown by letter B. Now the other region is granular cell myoblastoma. The peripheral nerve sheet tumor is uncommon in the vulva. It presents as a painless, slow-growing, subcutaneous mass. It is seen in the labia majora, clitoris or mons pubis. Local recurrences are common. 
malignant tumors are very rare more common site is the tongue it may enlarge rapidly during pregnancy the examination of the resected margins are the most important gross appearances it is a well demarcated firm mass microscopic features it is non encapsulated and composed of irregular groups of polyhedral cells the cells show indistinct borders numerous eosinophilic granules in the cytoplasm and relatively small nuclei with hyperchromasia immunohistochemistry s100 protein positive myelin basic protein positive cea positive now this is the photograph which has two components and showing the microscopic features of granular cell myoblastoma the red arrow points towards the stratified squamous epithelium whereas the yellow arrow shows cells which have eosinophilic cytoplasm and small nuclei showing hyperchromasia with indistinct cell borders the black arrow points the higher magnification of this tumor in which of course the cells are with indistinct borders eosinophilic cytoplasm and small nuclei showing hyperchromasia